Hi everybody, this is Anna. It's been a while. Um, I've been... Well, so I wanted to talk to you about um, what I've been up to lately. I have been working now full-time as a freelancer on Odesk. And Odesk, if you are not familiar about like with the program, with the website, is a website for freelancers and you can find all kinds of work everything from um, even if you're a writer, a freelance writer freelance uh, web designer, web um, programmer there's a lot of web programming jobs there um, personal assistant which is something that I'm doing and translation and all kinds of really cool stuff now um, I started about maybe six months ago with it, you know. Uh, I started getting myself familiarized with it and, you know, started started putting my information there, filling out my profile, and started taking tests. Um, and one thing I noticed was that it would take me, it, it was, I wasn't getting any jobs then. And the reason was because a lot of uh, the... Um, a lot of the con uh, employers prefer contractors that have feedback already, that already worked on Odesk for a while. Now, this is this can be discouraging for a lot of people, but I didn't get discouraged because there were so many other advantages that I'm going to talk about with Odesk in a minute. But what you need to do is basically either start with a non-hourly uh, job, so a project that will pay you um, not by the hour but by the project and you can decide what you want to do um, either like a half half down and half later or 25% down and 50% and then 25% you know paid during the process of the project which is something that I highly recommend 25 50 25 uh, and by that I mean 25% down 50% during the project and another 25% at the end. Um, this is for projects that are non-hourly. But so there's a plus and a plus side to it and a negative side to it. One, um, a plus side is that uh, you'll get your feedback. Um, you don't get monitored to to do the work. You choose complete it. You know at your own time and all of that. Uh, the negative side is um, that it's not Odesk guaranteed, meaning uh, with a non-hourly project, since Odesk doesn't have uh, a way to monitor your work, it's not guaranteeing or it's not guaranteed work. But, okay, so this, this non-hourly project uh, will help you to get feedback on Odesk. So I highly recommend you start like that. Um, or you can start also by making, you know, starting with small jobs uh, that are paid a little less, but that will, you know, are sh short term and will get, get you feedback. The point here is getting yourself feedback to be more marketable and grab more employers attention so anyways uh, so I guess I need to talk to you more about how Odesk works um, the Odesk uses this tracking system where um, if it's an hourly job you download the Odesk application and on your computer and then you start logging in time you start it and then it takes pictures of you and your screen to see what you're working on. So it's really cool because you basically don't have to be, you know, worried about that except to start and stop the system. Um, and it automatically logs your time into your profile into that specific contract that you logged into and it calculates the time you worked and how much money you're gonna get paid for, per hour for that project so it's really cool I like that it's really convenient and it also serves as a, a way to guarantee that you are gonna get paid and that your employer can see that you actually did the work 
So that's one of my f most favorite things about Odesk. Um, and lastly, um, it's really cool because you just get to work online, find the kind of work that you like, um, there's so much to choose from. It's crazy. I do, m myself, I do everything from design, which is really what I want to do there mostly. Um, so illustration, graphic design, and all of that. Some light video editing that I still need to work on. Um, a lot of personal assistance, and because I, I do have a lot of experience with that, and um, translation, because I'm fluent in, fluent in both English and Spanish. So, anyways, I just wanted to say that Odesk is really, really making my wishes come true of working on, online, um, being able to be my own boss, being able to uh, work at my own time, um, and having the freedom to be location independent, and basically just manage the, the time I want to work. So anyways, this is my fan video for Odesk. Um, I really recommend it. Um, going to their Twitter, going to their Facebook. There's a lot of fans. There's a lot of people who are really happy with it. And um, the, the blog is really awesome too. It gives you really cool tips on how to... Um, sort of market yourself better if you're a contractor and how um, for employers there's an article I'll try to find it and post it on the comments um, there's an article about how you can test um, contractors for a very small project kind of like to see if they're gonna be able to work with your type of work and if they're you know what you need so anyways and that's that. I hope you like my little review and um, hope to see you on Odesk. Um, my username is Anna Balp, A-N-A-B-A-L-P, that, um, not that com. Well, I do have a website, but Anna Balp, in case you want to hire me as a personal assistant or as a designer. Um, okay, any questions, let me know.